to talk about circuit control, I'm going to start with a very, very simple schematic. And so first, over here, I got three phases of power going through this junction box, and power is just going through it. And out of that, we are taking power. We are stealing power from the Charlie phase and the Bravo phase. Now, the circuit over here that I'm, one that I'm using, uh, I'm going to say that line one has B power and line two has C power. That will be important later on. But for right now, understand that if I want to get 110 volts, I can just go from any phase over here, A to C, and I get 110 volts, or B, B to A, and I get 110 volts. Now, be careful because if you're trying to use some civilian knowledge, uh, in civilians they get uh, uh, an extra wire which is called a neutral. And then the way how that works with them is that the neutral to Charlie phase it will be 110 volts. Uh, neutral to B phase will be 110 volts, but Charlie to Bravo will be 220 volts. That's not what we do on board ships. On board ships, uh, actually, if you will, each phase only has 55 volts to ground. So, and then there is no neutral. We have ground, and we are not supposed to get power from from the ground. Period. Uh, so. So, the, so if this is 55 volts and this is 55 volts, well, the addition of those two, that's how you get 110 volts. Keep that in mind because I'm going to use that knowledge later on. Now, uh, back over here to a Bravo and C phase, so we got power going to this light over here. This is a symbol for a light. See how I put these little marks? And I got a symbol for a light switch over here. Now, I went ahead and added some multimeters. This is what these are. So. I got a multimeter lead over here and a multimeter lead over there, and the other one's the same way. So what I want to start talk about is what voltages will I get here in this setup over here, as silly as it sounds. And well, first thing I want to notice that the switch is open over here. So if I got 110 volts over here, that means that between this point and this point, I got 110 volts. But the light is obviously off because the switch is open. Now let's look at voltages over here. See this wire over here, and it doesn't matter. I could have just drawn it here or anywhere else. And what I'm trying to say is that this is the same piece of wire. So the same piece of wire from one point to the other ones, uh, this one has potential Charlie. Well, but also at this point in here, I got potential Charlie. So the difference of potential between this point and this point over here is zero volts. I'm just gonna draw it over here so you can actually see it in, in your video. Zero volts. So I just told you that the difference of potential of the same piece of wire is always zero volts. Now let's look at the light. Well, there is no electrons going through a light yet because the light switch is, is, is closed. So therefore the light will act as a, as a short. A short is when two wires are touching each other. So it will act. That's the word I'm saying over here, like Hollywood. The, uh, the light is acting as a short and therefore it is like a piece of wire. So the voltage over here is going to be zero volts in that multimeter in that scenario. Now, notice over here, the light switch is open. Here I got B potential and therefore, now the reason why we have zero volts is because the light is, is passing C phase over here. So now we got C over here. So that means that from this point I got C and then here I got B. So now the difference of potential at this point is the whole 120 volt, 110 volts. Now I'm gonna close this light switch, and when I close the light switch, now electrons start flowing through it. Immediately the light comes on and it becomes just bright. And because of that, well, first of all, the voltage over here drops. So I'm gonna use this to mark it off. It's no longer 110 volts; it's zero volts because look. It's a closed switch. A closed switch is a piece of wire. So what's the difference of potential in the same piece of wire? So now is is always going to be zero volts, and now this potential of B is going to be here. So this multimeter will be in zero volts. This multimeter is still with its zero volts because it's the same piece of wire. Now I got B over here and C over here. So the light requires 110 volts to come on, and that's what she wants. And if the light is good, the light comes on. So the light is the load. The loads consume power. And it's consuming 110 volts, so that's what's coming in. And you will have a VN of 110 volts in that multimeter. 
Now, that was a long explanation for a very simple diagram. But this is what you're going to be using to troubleshoot all your systems. Let's review. So, I didn't put the faces over here. I just want to work with line one and line two. This light is not on. That's a symbol. That's, that's how you know a light. It, it, it's a symbol for a light. So, it doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with, with the, the fact that it, it's on or off. Here, between these two points over here, I got a difference of potential of zero volts because it's a closed switch. This switch over here, when it's open, it has a full potential, so I got 110 volts. By the way, this is a 110 volt circuit. So, now this becomes useful because if this switch is closed and I still get 110 volts at that point on, that means the switch went bad, plain and simple. If this switch is closed and the light now, at this point on, well, I got blue power on, on one side, red power on the other side. So that means that this over here, I have 110 volts. That's what this light needs to come on. But if the light doesn't come on, that means that the light will be bad. Because the light is getting what she needs, but she's just not doing this job. To continue talking about circuit control, I made this schematic. So I put all these lights over here and I connected them in parallel as you can see over here. And then now I'm giving power to them via these contactors. They're no longer switches. Okay. Now I do have a light switch over here that I'm going to use to close this coil, which is going to energize the contactor. Notice that this is not a light. I did not put those little funny little uh, uh, symbols that I did over here and that's because this is a different symbol this is for a coil coils they contactor coils should I say they work in tandem with uh, contactor contacts themselves now the idea is that when the switch closes this device magnetize and when they magnetize it bring these contacts together and they close obviously uh, uh, the way how you represent that is you don't erase that and put them together you just put a line through it and then when you put a line through it like that what you're saying is that the contacts came together why they came together because this magnetic uh, device has these switches that are per se open and as soon as they energize they close now you will have power delivered to the lights and all the lights will come on why do you want to do that because we got a lot of lights over here and what if they are lights that consume a lot of power it wouldn't be practical to have a gigantic switch and you go out there and close you still want to be able to have a little switch that when you flick it controls a contactor and then the contactor will close well big set of contacts that will send power to all of those lights and in a safe way we're controlling a large amount of current without really being in a dangerous situation anytime so that's what a contactor do Now, if you're wondering why I do the K over here, it is always very practical to you assign a letter, so that way you can find out the contacts. In case you had different contactors, uh, one contactor could be I, the other one K, the other one O, and so on and so forth. Here is a contactor. See this co these wires over here, they are the coil wires. The coil is inside there. That's what magnetizes and causes this thing to go in, to close. This wire and this wire are these two connections right here. And the, cent the, the circle well is represented by, it represents the coil inside there. Now, this contact over here, this contactor has multiple contacts. So here is one set, another one, another set. Now this one over here is a normally closed set of contacts. I'll talk, to, talk about that in a moment. And this side has an, more contacts. So whenever it closes, because it gets magnetized, as I'm trying to get it over here, see how it drops? That is a close. That means that this contact, uh, it actually now is touching, is, is electrically connected, these two points. As soon as uh, I let go, now they are no longer connected. They are in the open state. That will be open. And then whenever they're closed, this one as well as that one and that one, are shorted. So I got a contactor over here and I'm gonna press it manually. Notice that I have some leads right there connected to what is called the normally closed contact. That's the symbol for a normally closed contact. 
the multimeter right now if it's open that's what oil means so I'm gonna press the contactor and as soon as I do I gotta put some force into it I get less less than one ohm which that is what a normally open contact does now here I'm showing you that I hook it up to the normally closed contact has that little line through it so right now the multimeter should be within zero ohms and when the contactor gets energized now I simulate those zero contacts open so now that is normally open and normally closed contacts that I just talked about center of the contactor you got the coil so when the coil energizes it pulls these metal blocks because they get magnetized and they drag along these two um, points so now that's what actually is attached to a shaft that drives the contacts. The other side, the side that I removed from here, this face piece, I got it here. And look what happens when I press. So this is this is a open contact. This is a normally closed contact, and that is a normally open contact. Now when the system gets energized or the coil gets energized, this contact close and these two open. So Normally close and normally open contacts.